Hey guys, how are you and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're doing a review and a demo on this product and I know you have seen this before because I'm no fool. I get everything later because I order when it released and then I have to get it shipped from my locker in the US to Colombia so it takes a while to come here and I received my order incomplete so I ordered the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Diamond Bomb because I have nothing from Fenty Beauty except for her gloss but Rihanna's makeup artist was a guest at Nikki Tutorials channel and she used this collection when it wasn't released and when I saw her apply the highlighter and the gloss, I knew I had to have it. The Diamond Bomb, it's called How Many Carrots Diamond Bomb. I have it on my lid and the look of it, it's of glitter. It gives you sort of a wet look. So if you want to see me applying this to the rest of my face and my thoughts on it and if I think it's worth it or not, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the way that I applied these to my lid was just with my finger. I grab a small amount. You can see that it looks wet. Then I just pressed it with my finger on the lid. And that will give it sort of a wet look. It's just there's no other way to define the way this highlighter looks. It's not like a regular buttery highlighter and I don't think this will be for everyone because not everyone loves a cool tone highlighter and not everyone loves highlighters without a base and this doesn't have a base so you can put it on top of super dark black skin and super pale light skin and it will look beautiful but it won't necessarily match their undertone Uses that I can guess that would be amazing for this product It would be if you're over the top, extra AF Or if you are a makeup artist and doing photo shoots This would be amazing for editorial Or if you want to apply it on your body Later I will apply it on my shoulders for the demo And just right here so that you can see it And if you just want to be glowy in a different way. This is not a highlighter for the faint of heart because like I said, it has glitter on it. That being said, the glitter particles, you can't feel them. So when I open my eyes and everything, it doesn't feel like anything, not even like an eyeshadow. It's just super finely milled, but at the same time, you can actually see it and it looks more like glitter the closer you are to the person. So right here, I can see the glitter particles, but they look so expensive. The name Diamond Bob is just on point. The description on the back, it says, this is a super fine 3D sparkle for face and body. Insane diamond dusted effect. And I have to agree with that. I love the packaging. And like I said, this is the first highlighter from Fenty Beauty that I've got. And I have to be honest about something, I didn't think I was gonna ever get a highlighter from Fenty Beauty because I find them to be over the top and I, you guys know that I'm not trying to purchase new highlighters but this looked so different from everything that you see nowadays She's always beyond and in the future with the trends like nothing that she ever releases makes sense at the moment and then I know that in five years Everything is gonna be sort of like that. It's like a futuristic brand and I love that about Fenty and I love that they include everyone and every single skin tone. So yeah, what else do I have to say about it? I just have to apply it, so let's go in with the demo. Okay, so now that you're up on my face, I think you can see the glittery particles. I'm gonna use these two brushes, one on one side and one on the other. I'm not gonna wet the highlighter by any means. I just think it will work beautifully without being wet or without wetting the brush or the skin. I'm just gonna grab a little bit with this brush and apply it. When you see me up front, you can't even see the highlighter, but when I turn around, it looks like wetness and I love that. So again, I'm just grabbing it lightly.
This is so beautiful guys, like it in person. I know it has a glitter to it, but it's so expensive looking that it's beautiful. I know that it's not for everyone, but I love the finish of it. It's just different. And I don't mind that it's a cool tone highlighter. I would love if she would make this a champagne shade and also a gold shade. Not a yellow gold, but more of a muted gold. That would be amazing. So far, this is beautiful and you can see it on the eyelids. It looks amazing. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin. So I grab a little bit with my finger to put right here, which is the place where I love to highlight my nose. And that couldn't be more beautiful. I love this. I haven't been that obsessed with a highlighter since NARS released the palette, the Bang to Sable and Becca released uh, Dreamsicle. Those were just different for me. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose. Just a little bit. Same with my chin. And Cupid's bow. Let's go in again with my inner corner with a denser brush. And now to finish the diamond look, I'm gonna go in with a brush and do my shoulders. Okay, I definitely don't see it. And this is the first time that I applied it on my body. It looks so subtle, maybe it's the brush, but this looks super subtle. To be honest, I was expecting more. Okay, so when I see it in the mirror, I can't see it. The camera is not picking it up. Last time, I'm gonna try with my finger on my shoulder. And I'll zoom you guys in so that you guys can see how it looks. Okay, so I said before that it was an expensive looking glow. It's not a rude glow. So you can see it on my shoulders when I move them. And you can see it right here when I move my body. It looks a little bit glowy. And you can see right here the glittery sparkles showing through. But when you see me up front, I look normal with a little bit of radiance, but normal anyway. So it's an expensive looking highlighter for sure. This highlighter is $38, which is not cheap. The packaging is really beautiful. It's plastic, but the way it shines, it's almost exactly like the highlighter. And you can see it right here now that I'm, I'm moving myself around. It says that it's a pure platinum sparkle. I have to agree. And the idea behind it is to ice yourself in diamond dusted sparkle. It has a 3D formula that will leave your face and body crystal coated. That it was inspired by a crystal dress that Rihanna wore at the CFDA 2014. What I love about this brand also is that it's cruelty free. That Sephora sent my order incomplete because I also ordered the gloss that came with the collection because I already have the regular gloss that everyone loves and adore from Fenty. That's the only other product that I have from Fenty and I adore that gloss. So I wanted just to put this review up for you guys because I don't know but maybe this will be limited edition. Let me find out for you guys. Okay, no, it's not limited edition but this would be an amazing product to get for the holidays. It looks beautiful and flawless on the skin. And if you guys are looking for something different to have in your collection, I would highly recommend it. If you hate a little bit of sparkle and glitter, then definitely don't get it. But if you are thinking that the way glitter looks on this highlighter is like a cheapy, thick glitter. I love Urban Decay, but sort of like the Urban Decay illuminators that they came up with a while ago and then they had to discontinue because they had chunks of glitter. That's not what you're gonna find with this highlighter. This is super expensive looking on the skin and on the body, but you have to be a little bit extra or editorial if you wanna wear it, or you have to just be in love with makeup and not be afraid of it. This won't be an office highlighter for sure. This is more of a going out date night sultry highlighter. And since I already ordered the ABH sultry palette, I think this highlighter will pair amazingly with that palette. So that's it guys for this review. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next on my channel. Before you go, don't forget to go and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be part of my YouTube family. I'll leave my social media links below, including my Instagram for my clients. 
so that you can see how I do makeup on other people or just see the products that I use or how the before and afters turn out. Also always leave suggestions below on what you want to see next. And that's it you guys, I guess I'll see you on the next one, bye bye!